Just love that feeling in the air. It's harvest time. Let's get this baby out running. This is the first time we're gonna turn it on. Starts up good. Let's raise that head up. Let's turn on that separator. Oh, oh, what the, what the heck it, oh no, oh no, oh no. Shut that off. Oh, that's not good. That's definitely not good. Auto. So the repairman came and you know, tool accountability is an important thing to do. So apparently when I bought this thing, uh, when they did a little work on it, uh, yeah, they left a one inch shot wrench in the harvester and yeah that went all the way through this harvester yeah it's gonna have to go into the shop luckily this old girl was warranted still Whew. so yeah that did a lot of damage we need to trade this out i was really hoping to test the beans out hopefully they'll run today but uh, it's not going to be running with this harvester. So I'm going to take this to town. They said they will uh, loan me a harvester to run. And uh, as long as I can bring this in. As you can see, we are ready to go full bore in the field. This is kind of a work stoppage. Got everything set up. Got our Lexi Lexion ready. It's all ready. We got our new blue. Oh, Blue is in the field over there waiting for us. I, us I usually uh, try to uh, put trailer vehicles in my grass field just because it's more flat out here. Well, I guess this trailer is not going to work. Yeah, good thing I have another white boy. Back this old girl up. Uh, go find my white boy trailer. Oh man, delays, delays, delays. Alright, now that is a better fit. I tell you, it's really hard lining up an old uh, 8820 when you sit to the side. Just, uh, it's just a little bit harder because you don't have it, you're uh, centered. Alright, we are ready to go. Play here reminds me of YMCA three wheels, huh? Crazy, that's crazy. There we go. So, you guys probably don't know, but I did uh, end up picking up one of these good old girls over here, but it isn't ready yet. It still has to go through the shop. I'm hoping I get it for at least corn harvest but we will see I guess you guys will have to let me know which one of them two over there did you really want to see me have all right uh, yeah they only was going to replace for a, a similar harvester no yellow cap it's definitely a similar harvester the Titan was a little bit newer. Alright, we are ready to head off. I gotta look, check out this sprayer one more time. This thing is crazy. Triples all the way around. 
Don't see that every day. All right, you guys think we should uh, take our shortcut? Uh, I'm just joking. I really don't think if we took that shortcut, the harvester would stay on the trailer. Or the trailer would probably get high centered, we would get stuck, and I don't think uh, it'd be uh, easy at all to get this truck out of there. I have to say, I kind of like the old yellow cap over the green cap. I don't really know the full differences between the two other than the years. I guess it's just more pleasing to the eye. Man, I don't know. Old Blue is really going to stand out over here on the farm. I think it will pull its weight, though. I'm pretty sure it will pull its weight. All right, just getting the header on here, and we should be ready. Oh, yeah. Timmy showed up. He's going to be helping. Check out Timmy's new truck old 93 here man i'm really digging the chrome the chrome little uh, accent there two-tone with the chrome stripes look at them back mufflers i know timmy ain't gonna like this but i'm gonna start this thing up you guys gotta hear this uh, listen to that thing purr it's definitely a good looking truck. It's a good tr first truck. I wish I had that nice of a first truck. All right, all this stuff needs to get to the field. Need to get done with uh, changing the oil in the old, uh, oh yeah, we got the 8270R. It's on the farm. We still need to bring in the 8100. Basically, this is going to replace it. All right, to the field. All right, uh, whew. All right, no wrenches today. Doesn't sound like it, at least. All right, get into this field. Timmy's already taken off with the Lexion. Going around. This thing is running a little bit low. I'm gonna have to adjust this header. Otherwise, running pretty good. Beans are good. They're about uh, 60 plus bushels an acre. So, oh Timmy, he's really running over there. Oh man, look at him go. We do have a ton of uh, harvesters. I love how on these 80, 8820s you can just see so much see over there even though you're you know to the side of this uh, harvester you can still see a lot just you don't want to run along the fence line when you run it on that side you always want to run on the left hand side I guess unlike our Titan there this one is actually has a rear wheel drive I know you know a lot of the weights in the front of the harvester but Rear-wheel drives will still get you out of a pickle, depending on the land you're at. Iowa, a lot of times you're gonna need, you're gonna have some uh, sloppy dirt. You're gonna need it, but some other places doesn't even matter. Man, got a lot of dead beans over here. It's not good. It's gonna hurt the old. Uh, Profit line there. Harvesting right beside each other here. Oh, I adjusted this header. It's running a little bit better, but it's still running kind of deep. It's digging into the ground. Need to re angle it, I guess. Kind of enjoying this old harvester. Kind of like how easy you can see in it. Definitely uh, shouldn't get any uh, cab corn, or in this case, cab beans. Uh, if you do, uh, you got some serious hopper, or you're not paying attention at all right behind. Don't need a camera back there, just so easy to see. Real easy. There's 
There's a little Timmy at. Uh oh. Timmy looks like he might uh, be stuck over there. I don't know. Timmy. He just got a cell phone, so he's pretty, uh, uh, let's say, distracted all the time. Dang, Timmy. Oh, 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 man, oh, man, oh, shoot. Shoot. Oh, no. Oh, man. Ooh, I'm pretty sure I ran one of them rocks through. Oh, man. Uh, I hope the rock trap ended up catching them. Good thing it's not my harvester. Woo. Pretty sure I destroyed the header. I'm not positive if I destroyed the actual harvesters. Man, two harvesters in one day is not lucky. So I think I'm going to actually try to start this old girl up and try to tip him out, maybe. Hopefully I can get him that way. Oh, man. They actually all fell out, so now we need to see how much damage we did. I think I'm gonna unhook. Timmy, unhook that PTO. We're gonna unhook this header. Alright, let's get under here, pull this rock trap. I'm nervous. I guess I can look up here in the interior and make sure I don't see a rock. All right, let's see if we can hear one. Oh, man, pretty sure that's the header making that noise. I think something's clanking around the header. I don't think there's no rocks in the header, but I think something's off canter, if that makes any sense. So we probably bent something uh, headers aren't cheap, but they're a lot less expensive than the actual harvesters. Uh, let's get these rocks out of here. Whew. Bummer. Man, well, Timmy, he sure is going slow over there. We got the big blue out. My wife's driving big blue over there, running. Guess we're going to be down to uh, one harvester for a while. Use old little bobcat here. Get these old rocks out of this field. I'm gonna have to do some rock walking or something. Gonna take this over here to our rock pile. But uh, thank you all for watching. And I will see you next time over here in the 2000s. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time. Finally got this little bugger off the field. Yeah, that's way harder than what you expect it to be. If you guys want to play with all these mods that we play with on this series or any other series, make sure you check out Apex Gaming PCs. They make PCs especially just for this game or other games to run that major FPS. Use code squad, save a ton. Later.